Good evening YouTube, this is Black Red Silverbug. It's been quite a while, uh, almost four months since my last video. So I have quite a lot to go through and go as quickly as possible. I have had a net increase of about 200 ounces of silver since my last video. Uh, first I'm going to go ahead and start with some things I received today. So this was an eBay purchase. Um, it was a buy it now. Um, this is my first coin of this variety so I'm not gonna go into too much detail on it till I get get more most of you recognize this and I can't pronounce it so uh, anyway um, years ago when I started watching videos uh, Silver Seeker kinda got me interested in Mexican coinage and here's one this is the 1948 Cinco Pesos. And i try to get it out here. Get a closer look at it. Oh, that, there you go. So this is the 48 version. These, uh, these were minted in 47 and 48. So when I put, able to get a a 47 and I'll go into more detail on the mintages um, these are but I believe these are sterling silver nope 90% silver right down here 90% silver okay moving on to my provident order that just came in okay. yeah okay I remember now so I believe it was Mr. Vegeta put a quick um, quick notice that uh, there was a five dollars off for Provident. It was well five. That was probably three weeks ago, and I finally received this. So I went ahead and picked up a ten ounce Provident medals. Um, 10 ounce bar. This is my second one. Okay. And then the delay was because I went ahead and picked up the Deadpool, the final uh, release of the Marvel series. So I have one of each of these. Okay. On top of that, I picked up one capsule for another coin we're going to see in a bit. And now finally, uh, Atmex purchase. I've been holding on to this for about a week. So let's see what I've got in here. Here we go. Ah, so this one had a bit of an impulse purchase. I went ahead and picked up uh, four five five of the new lep uh, Somalian leopard coins this is a new series um, if you've seen the elephants um, they're made by the same the same mint so we got the African wild leopard and these are in the premier Atmex uh, container hundred shillings very cool so that's there's five of those Let's see what I got here uh, I'm gonna have to open this oh no this is just an elephant okay this is the 2019 elephant I've been collecting the probably this is my fifth or sixth one I'm not gonna break it out right now until I have a container to put it in all right, and finally, the new Czech lion. There it is. Let's look at the other side. Huh. I don't remember that. Nui, Nui Island. I suppose it does have Elizabeth on it. Very good. So those are my those are my pickups. So that is, let's see, seven seven ounces there. Eleven. That's eighteen and basically one almost one on that uh, mexican coin 
that's 18 ounces unboxed. So now I'm going to go quickly starting from left to right. I'm going to start with my generic silver pickups. And so I finally pulled the trigger, got the JM Bullion uh, 10 ounce at spot. And those are Buffalo rounds. Everybody's seen those. So there's that. Uh, next, I have the 20 ounce Scottsdale Kit Kat bar. This is on a alert by Silver Stacking Nerd. Stacking Nerd, excuse me. Very cool. Picked this up at a buck, I believe it was a buck 25 uh, per ounce over spot with free shipping. Very, very nice pickup. Glad I got one. That's 20 ounces right there. Uh, moving on to junk silver. I actually had quite a lot of junk silver pickups. Uh, over 50, uh, well, about 50 ounces of silver. Um, starting with Walking Liberties, I picked up 32, um, excuse me, halves. 32 and a half dollars face in halves. That was about half about half Franklin, half <clears throat> half Walking Liberties. Um, now the Walking Liberties, I started putting in these uh, Whitman folders, and so this is the early years. So obviously I don't have that many. Um, 1929D had a one million mintage, and moving on to the second folder. This one is full except for one, which is the rarest. The 1938D with a mintage of 492,000. Uh, some of these, obviously, the later years are pretty high. Uh, looks like the highest mintage was in 1943 with 53.2 million. So, 1938D is what I'm missing in this album. Okay, very good. Now moving on to the dimes. I picked up 362 or $36.2 face. And those started, I started putting, those are mostly mercury dimes that I picked up at SD Bullion. So I started putting them in here. There's some in pretty good condition that I already had. Here's a 1917 that's in decent condition. Um, this is going to be hard to see. Uh, anyway, Mercury Dimes decided to start picking these up. I picked up this uh, folder on eBay and, and started having fun with Mercury Dimes. So, uh, mintages range from in the low 100,000s up to 159 million in 1945, 191 million in that's 1943 205 million in 1942 so mercury dimes are cool yep. that's the end of the junk silver uh, except for some random halves that I have right here that I picked up recently uh, next we're going to go on to Australian sterling silver I have a florin these are all picked up at at spot so here's three um, three shillings. There's one with the old design. So that's a 1917. Pretty nice to pick this up at spot. Um, about 10, 10 six pence and five three pence. Pick those up whenever I can at spot. Here here are a couple of. Um, Impulse purchases just because I had a little extra cash on me. This is a 1887 one franc That's Switzerland 1887 really decent shape and then another impulse purchase one half mark and this is a uh, This was one of the rare um, But I'm having trouble seeing it now it's uh, German, and if I can see the year correctly, it's a 1906 impulse. And I picked up this round, which is blank, on one end. This was probably a dollar over spot from the local coin shop. 
and it's very interesting. It says four nines, one ounce Troy, the interesting logo. I can't tell what it is. And then it has the letter S with the degree sign above it or not sign or whatever you want to call it. If anybody knows what this is, I surely like to know. All right, moving on to some more lower lower premium silver. About a stack of 10 Morgans. These are all 1921. Nothing special. Nine of them, no mint mark. One of them, uh, I think, was a, I don't know, probably a D. And they're in decent condition, but they're nothing special. I paid $18 each. All right. Some more silver at $18. Finally picked up some Onzas. These are the 1980s. So here, got seven, eight, eight 1980s, some of them in better condition. Yes, no, they're, they're one ounce, so they're, these are sterling. Each one of these contains one ounce of silver, and uh, they're sterling silver, so these are really big coins, and I can't find a container to put them in. Here are the 79s, some of them very nicely toned. Very nicely toned. And I picked all of these up from a local coin shop. I uh, made a deal to get all of them, and I got them at $18 each. And I was glad to do that since I got lucky, and there was a 1978 in there. Very nice. These these go for, eh, maybe, maybe $5 to $10 more uh, because of their limited mintage. I have the mintages down, the 78 was 280,000 the 79 was four and a half million and the 80 was 6.1 million now they also this also came in a 49 and I picked this one up um, it was an impulse purchase but I wanted it to round it out uh, hold hold on to these for a while and enjoy them so here's the 49 it's not BU it's it's almost uncirculated um there it is okay before i go any further here are some l more low premium 10 ounce silver bars this one is an inglehart very cool i think i paid a buck over spot per ounce for this and wall street mint these are pretty cool you know it's got the two towers on the twin towers on it these sell for a little bit of premium on eBay. Got able to pick that up for a buck over spot. All right, gonna have to move a little quicker here. So, finally picked up the 10 ounce unicorn. Just came out a couple of weeks ago. Very cool. This is the fourth out in the series. Whereas we got six of the two ounce uh, versions out right now. Also at the, lo at the local coin shop, I picked up three uh, prior year kooks. This is 2010. Oops, here we go, 2010. Here's 2011. And 2012. All right, going on to the newer stuff. Obviously, I already showed you the 10 ounce unicorn. This goes back a while. This is the Zen Canis. I picked up five to add to my army. Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I looking at here? There we go. There we go. Five of these. Public of Korea. One clay. Very good. Next, I picked up three of the Darth Vader Sabres. These are actually low premium. Uh, about Probably paid about $3 per over spot. Very good. Picked up the most current release of the God series, the Egyptian God series. Very good. Moving right along. 
picked up three of the new kooks. This is a 2019 kookaburra. Very cool. I like the moon in the background. Frosty uh, log in the foreground. Very nice. Okay, picked up three of those. And these are my first pickups for the year of the pig. These are the one ounce. These are the ones with the limited mintage. So I went ahead and picked up three of these at this time. Uh, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do as far as the rest of the, of the series. Whether or not I'll pick up the fractional of the two ounce. That's yet to be determined. Okay. Okay, that covers that. Also finally picked up a 2018 American Silver Eagle. Not going to open that. We all know what those look like. Um, this was my second attempt at getting the sixth release. It's the Falcon for the Queen's Beast, the two ounces. And the first, the first try at this, I had to return them to Jam Bullion because eight out of ten of them were damaged. Um, I'm a little discouraged, but these are at least in better shape. I had to go ahead and open them and check them out before they go into capsules. And one of them was scratched. So uh, these are close to spot, so I'll probably just pick one up. You could already see that there's some milk spotting on the rims, which is has been pretty common across all all of the sizes, including the 10 ounces, some rim spotting, not at least not on the face of the coin or you know the obverse or the reverse so that's that and then finally we're going to wrap this up with uh, a reveal which was a bit scary because it's been in there for several months without me looking at them but I decided to go and open them up check it out and what this is is the new The new 2018 Cougarans. Oh, nice. Very nice. Let me pull one of these out. Kind of a, feels like a smallish coin after handling those big coins, but here it is. 2018 Cougaran. Very good. These were, I think I picked these up on eBay on Provident. I'm going to go back. That one's going to go back. I'll probably not open it again for several years. Well, that's going to do it. I hope, uh, oh, I didn't, didn't talk about these. I picked up nine of these at the local coin shop. These are pretty rare. Uh, these are the 1950 Ferro Caril Sudeste. This is commemorating the inauguration of the Southern Railroad for for Mexico that's 1950 now the mintage on these was 200,000 uh, but there was a report that half of them were melted down uh, to help produce the 1968 commemorative uh, Olympic coin which was w way overproduced so that would make these uh, about a hundred thousand of these which makes it pretty rare um, these are 72% silver. All right, so that wraps it up, brings us up to date. And so I'll see you next time, maybe at the end of the month, with my November pickups. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.